just arrived at the Tres Roas Polo and Riding Centre down in the south of Spain. The weather's fantastic, so let's go and check out the horses. Uh, my name is Ricardo Vaz. I manage this uh, centre. And basically, we receive people to do horse holidays and polo holidays. People normally here stay for three days, five days, one week, and during this time they have a polo lessons. And in the afternoon, normally they have a polo matches. Most of our horses are Spanish horses and polo horses. The polo horses came, most of them, from Argentina. They are very easy horses to be managed. Along with Argentina, southern Spain is one of the world's most popular destinations to learn and play polo, and Tres Rojas really is one of the best centres in the area. Well, it's quite hard to not be able to get 60 miles an hour hitting the ball 60 yards into the air while smashing into someone beside you, so it's, a, it's an adrenaline sport, it's one that takes sort of courage and, and that you play with the horses in mind as well as with the ones that compete in the street. I haven't played for a couple of years, so I'm going to brush up and get back into it. Stay in our houses. We have uh, here four houses, and normally they stay here. If they prefer to stay in a uh, top luxury hotel near here, there is also the possibility to stay in a hotel of this area. Lots of people start polo having never ridden before. Um, it helps to have ridden, but otherwise you just make sure you are given the horse that is adequate to you, so you don't get scared off, and it's, it's a, a partnership. During the afternoon, there's plenty of time to relax before getting back on the horses. Riding the style of the polo is slightly different to normal riding, but you can learn within half an hour just having some fun. So you sit on the horse, and you can learn how to hold four reins rather than two, have a whip in one hand, a stick in the other. The weather throughout the year is, is pretty sensational. Um, they play throughout the year. And when in England, everything's grey and dull here. It's, you know, you've got oranges on the trees and the sun's shining. It's just the adrenaline rush. It's just so exciting. It's the most exciting sport in the world. Fast and furious and fun. And you should really try it. <laughs>